Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, the six surprising factors that makes a man attracted to you. Really quickly, before we get in, if this content resonates with you and you're interested in a little bit of a personal touch, meaning you'd like to have your uh, some questions answered, check out the link below to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me to see if coaching is right for you. Okay, let's talk about those six, or should we do six <laughs> factors, uh, surprising factors that make a man attracted to you. You know, it's interesting. When I came up with this topic, I was thinking about a recent podcast that I did on my podcast. And if you're not familiar, I have a podcast called the what would love do podcast and you can check it out on apple and google and all those places just type in what would love do and jonathan asley and i i recorded uh, an audio regarding the words i love you and it seemed to me that you know the words i love you are so powerful and yet so oftentimes misused and yet when we're really attracted to someone when we're really feeling that sense of i love you that's the relationship we want to commit to. That's the relationship we want to go the distance. If it's coming from a genuine, heart-centered, mature place. Let me repeat that. A genuine, heart-centered, mature place. Sadly, so many people say the words, I love you, from an immature place, either coming from a place of fear or coming from a place of their ego. But I want to go a little bit deeper because I really do believe this is so powerful for understanding attraction. So um, in that podcast and what I'm going to share with you today, I'm going to give you the cliff note version of it, uh, is the six things that I think is, um, is what I love you represents. And I'm going to relate it to this video in a second. So um, what when I say I love you to someone, and my hope is that with my next partner, um, it's coming from that authentic, sincere, mature place. When I say I love you to them, it's going to mean the following. I'm here. You matter. We are important. I've got your back. I'm not going anywhere. And I only want you. Let me say that. I'm here. You matter. We are important. I've got your back. I'm not going anywhere. I only want you. And I'm going to explain it a little bit deeper because whether you're a man or woman watching this video, this relates to both people in relationships. So this is what we we deep if we want to feel deep love, then I'm going to dive into this. So let's go with number 1. I'm here. What that means is I'm present. I'm present. I'm present to this relationship. I'm present to this experience. I'm not reliving the past and stuck in some past relationship. And I'm not focused on the future and so much, where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going? I'm here present in the relationship. Because when a person is present, that's incredibly attractive. Okay? I'm here. Okay? Number two, you matter. This is telling someone, this is saying to someone that you actually matter to me. You're important to me. You're someone that I value in my life. And so when, when someone is feeling that from a genuine heart-centered mature place that you actually matter to another person, that is incredibly attractive for those people who are emotional grown-ups. Now, you've heard me talk about a lot of people who are not emotional grown-ups, but to that emotional grown-up, that is a hugely attractive trait. And we're going to talk about that in a lot more videos and certainly in my past videos. Okay, the third one. We matter. My God, this is so powerful. This is coming from the consciousness that a relationship is a separate entity. A relationship is a separate entity. And what I mean to say is, is treating the relationship as something important. Because there's a you, there's a me, and then there's a we. Oh, I'll do that as a heart shape, as a we. And that we is a separate entity. So that's coming, that's why I said maturity is so important here because when we come at it from a mature conscious place and we say that the we is important, that is highly attractive. That is highly attractive, okay? The I've got your back. Oh my gosh. It says we're part of a team. I'm here in it with you. I'm going to, you know, when you need me, I'm there. When I'm, when I, when uh, I need you, I want you to be there. Because when we can trust that our partner is there for us, 
That is the kind of attraction that keeps us rooted in a relationship. And we know that our partner is there for us. And ladies, I, I know most of my channel is watched by women, but I'm, I'm making this non-gender related. But I'm going to say I understand your frustration in this particular area. It's incredibly frustrating to choose men who don't treat you like they've got your back. They don't treat the relationship as a separate entity. They don't treat you as important. And these people aren't conscious and present. Because as I go into the deeper, I'm not going anywhere. When I'm really leaning into this, this please, Pay, pl this surprising factor <laughs> is that I'm rooted in this relationship. I'm not going anywhere. I'm rooted in this relationship. And I want to explore the, all the depths of this relationship, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm rooted in this relationship. And that is highly attractive when you know you're with a partner that is rooted in the relationship. <sighs> I know it's frustrating because it doesn't feel that way. And as I said before, I'm differentiating between those emotionally mature people and those emotionally un immature people. And whether man or woman, um, sadly, we are riddled with emotional immaturity. It's one of the reasons why I'm a big proponent of reading the books I recommend. Whereas, and, and certainly start with my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? This is a, an opportunity to gain insight into who you are on the inside so you can be fully prepared for this juicy, delicious relationship. And there's so many more books. I mean, I got my whole stack right here. Uh, what's another one? Okay. All right. And our last one, the sixth one, or should we do sixth one? Can't decide. Um, and now I just forgot. I'm here. You matter. We're important. I've got your back. I'm not going anywhere. And I only want you. God, I went brain dead for a second. I only want you. What that really says is I'm passionate about this relationship. I'm passionate about you. And this is the romance piece. This is the romance piece. I only want to covet you. I want to be romantic in this relationship. I want to be intimate in this relationship. I want to be intimate both on a physical level and an emotional level intimate on a physical and emotional level. In fact, many of you have heard me say, and maybe you haven't, is I believe romance should be reserved for when you're in a relationship and not as a precursor to getting into a relationship. Because when someone is going to make the investment of romance, it should be because you actually genuinely love this person. And romance is incredibly attractive. And romance is a two-way street or a two-way two -way street. It's mutual, it's equal, it's not one-sided, it's not the masculine doing it or the feminine doing it, it is both of you in investing into the romance of the relationship because that really says I only want you and that's highly, highly attractive in a relationship. <sighs> wow, I covered a lot. I even went brain dead there for a second. All right, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this video. Please post a comment below if this resonated with you. If you have something to add, something to say, uh, please share what you've got. I want to hear about it. Also, uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button where it's at. And there's also going to be an, another button if you want to get some of my free products and links. Uh, check out the links below as well. And I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do, giving you a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug if I have your consent. Aw, thank you. Mm. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.